it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So happy to have you here. Be sure to tap that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up? What's good? And welcome back. So today we are working with a human hair unit, and this unit was sent to me by Hair Vivi. So shout out to Hair Vivi for sponsoring this video. I have definitely been curious about the fake scalp wigs for a while and I'm happy to finally try it out with Hair Vivi. So this is what they sent over. This is the packaging. I really love the matte black and it has this bow here. So we're just gonna unwrap it. I feel like I just got a little present. It's not even Christmas. Oh, okay. So when I open the box here, we have the wig, of course. This is the Kylie wig. And inside they give you a few things. They give you some hair clips here. I can always use some of those. They give you a brush. Oh, look, they gave me a comb. Look, I love these combs. I, I can never have too many rat tail combs. And they also gave us samples, y'all. They gave us samples of the fake scalp. So with these samples, they show us what the old fake scalp was made of and what the new fake scalp is made of. Now this is my first time working with this company, but from what I understand, their old fake scalp method, it involved a double layer, whereas this new fake scalp is just one layer. I just wanna quickly show you what we have here. So this is the cappuccino color that fits most skin tones, it says, right? Yep. And I know on the website, cappuccino will be under the light brown. Oh, it feels like a, it's a nice stretchy fabric. Okay. So this is what the scalp color looks like for a cappuccino. Is that what I got? <laughs> I think that's what I got. Then here is the mocha color. Now this color is more so for deeper skin tones like myself. Oh, wow. This is, this is deep. This is like same type of stretchy fabric. It's definitely very dark. Um, I feel like this color would look a little bit too orange for my scalp, so I'm actually really glad that I chose the cappuccino fake scalp color. These are two of the choices, and you can see the difference here. You can see the cappuccino color versus the mocha color. And from what I see so far, I'm feeling it. I like the fact that they toned it down to just one layer versus two, because I know that was an issue with other companies having this fake scalp. It was like, not only does it not match my skin color, but it's a little too thick. So I'm excited to see what this wig is working with. All right, so now let's take a look at Kylie. Here she is. <laughs> Y'all know I love a good bob. So of course this is the wig that I would choose from their site. And if you wanna see me in more bobs, definitely check out my bob wig playlist. I have a slew of videos on there. So this is what this parting space area is looking like. That is the fake scalp underneath. There are no combs in the front here, but there is a comb here in the back. The parting space here goes back 5.5 inches. Now, if you look here, the knots in the front are fully bleached. I hope you guys can see that. And look at that pre-plug game, like, okay. Now the special feature about this wig, outside of the improvements to the fake scalp, they also have the piano elastic band here. This band is removable and on the wig itself, it includes notches. So really it's supposed to accommodate multiple head sizes. You can just take this out and put the band on a different notch here. You can also adjust the band to your liking. And of course, we got some branding here, Hair Baby. This band looks very sturdy and it's very stretchy and it feels like it's gonna be very comfortable on my head. Now this unit does come in small, medium, and large cap sizes. I got the medium size cap unit because my head is 22 inches and their medium measures at a 22.5. If you need a larger cap, that is 23.5. If you need a smaller cap, that's 21.5. And all details will be listed in my description box. So if you're interested in purchasing, you can look on there and you will see the link for this individual unit. So yeah, let's see. I'm just gonna toss her on real quick to see what she's looking like. Okay. Definitely glad I got the cappuccino color because that is what my scalp looks like. Yo, <laughs> the way they pre-plucked this thing is impeccable. Now the texture of this wig is definitely on the more silky side. And normally I'm not a huge fan of silky wigs, but I think for this short bob, it'll be fine. 
All right, I'm ready to put this bad boy on, style this wig, and give you my final thoughts. So if you're ready for that, keep on watching. with the Kylie unit and let's just dive right into my thoughts starting with the pros first pro out the pack for sure now that this baby is on my head is this scalp this fake scalp y'all look at this look look at this hello like what kind of sorcery what is happening this this is a fake scalp I I'm impressed where are the grid lines, y'all? Like, I, I can't see them. You know why? Because it doesn't exist. <laughs> I'm really happy with how they did the thick scalp. And like I mentioned before, they used a double layer before. Now they're just using one layer and I'm here for it. Look at this, y'all. This looks super natural. I'm in natural lighting because I want you all to see that this is how it would look when I walk out my house. I mean, come on. Come on. Hello. Hey, Vivi, what is this? <laughs> I'm feeling it. Can you believe they used to use this for the fake scalp? No wonder people had issues with it. This, this was clearly not the way. This is clearly too thick. But this right here, this is popping. Out with the old and with the new. Now, one thing I did notice about the fake scalp once it was on, something about it was like off to me and I realized it was just looking a little bit too bright compared to my skin tone. So I did go in with the powder. I used this powder that I got from the beauty supply store but I, I, I'll have a link to it in the description box down below. I needed something to kind of offset the brightness so I just brushed this along the parting space and as you can see here, it started like toning down some. I feel like the finished look right here is definitely more like my scalp color. And let me just show you like a before and after so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. This is how it was looking before the powder and this is how it's looking afterwards. So yes, y'all, even with the fake scalp, you know, you still have to assess how it looks on your skin tone because for someone else, the cappuccino out the pack could have been it, could have been the wave. But for me in particular, after I assessed it, I was like, you know what? I need this to be just a tad bit deeper. Would I have gotten the mocha? I don't know. I still feel like the mocha fake scalp color would have been too orangey underneath. I need to see if someone of my complexion chose that scalp color, but I love the way this is looking right now. This is looking super seamless, very natural. Like, girl, is that your hair? Of course it is. Another pro to this unit is the lace. My goodness, this melt is impeccable. I mean, come on y'all. This is so natural looking. I didn't tint the lace. I just used my tried and true CoverGirl True Matte Foundation in the color D90. Link to that is in the description box as well. I only use it when I'm trying to blend my lace to my skin and I think this looks absolutely amazing. So yes, lace on 10, fake scalp is on 10. Another pro for me is the style. I love bobs and I have an entire playlist dedicated to them. Definitely check that out after this video. This bob is no different except there was one little caveat it was a little bit asymmetrical a lot of you know that I prefer a more even cut bob so yes I did go on with my little scissors and I snipped off just a little bit from the bottom on each side and this was the end result and I love it I think this looks super chic especially with this like the way I did my black liner today oh my god yes Kind of give me like Kim K vibes right now. I'm sorry y'all, I just cannot stop looking at this front area right here. Y'all know I have a widow's peak too and that's that's an issue for me. Normally with the widow's peak, I will cut into the lace here because the lace just doesn't blend down nicely over it. But this, 
I'm tilting my head up like this blends down so nicely over my widow's peak. I'm telling y'all, quality lace definitely makes a difference. Now this wig is available in three sizes. Like I said, small, medium, large. Click the link and check out the dimensions on their website and what each one is for your size. The medium is fitting perfectly fine on me. I think it's a perfect fit for my 22 inch head. And of course, another pro is that piano elastic band. I just love the flexibility it gives where you can adjust it as tight as you want or as loose as you want. I think it's a great way to accommodate multiple head sizes. So overall, this is looking like a win. What do y'all think? If you're feeling me in this unit, go ahead and comment. I see you Gladys in the comments down below. Let me know how you feel because this is a summer vibe. This is a bop. <laughs> As my girl Shannon would say, I'm really, really digging this style. The only con, and I wouldn't even say it's a con, it's just more so a preference. Only thing I could think of that I wish were different about this wig is the texture. I really, really wish this was a yakky texture. This is definitely more silky. So for my silky hair mommies, you're gonna absolutely love this unit. But y'all know I'm all about the yak, so. <laughs> Hey, BB, what's good? I would love to try this again in a um, yakier texture. Absolutely would totally rock another unit in a different texture. One thing that's great about the silky textures is that it does look extra sleek, and I think this is the look this bob is going for. Very sleek, chic, mature, sophisticated, grown and sexy. Like this is the look I am giving with Miss Kylie. Now the price of this unit is $195 on the website. There will be a coupon code in the description box for you to use so you can get some money off. I know a lot of you are used to my budget fines when it comes to wigs, but let me tell you something. Quality for a human hair wig often comes with a price. Remember with this unit, you are getting this this impeccable lace. You are getting an awesome fake scalp, an updated fake scalp that actually looks like scalp. Like y'all, y'all see me, right? This is what it will look like when you walk out your house. Hello, who's gonna check you? Girl, is that your hair? Girl, get on my face. You know this is my hair. And it comes with a very durable elastic band. So I do think that you are getting what you're paying for with this unit. And this unit will last you a very long time. It's a short unit, no tangling you have to worry about. I'm not getting any shedding. So I just want those of you who are apprehensive about the price to understand that it is okay to invest in a wig, especially one that you know you want to last a very, very long time. So tell me what you think in the comments down below, y'all. How do you feel about this Kylie unit? Is this your type of unit to wear during the summer, spring, winter, fall? Let me know. I think she looks really great on me and I hope you all are feeling her too. And if you're new here, what are you waiting for? Mm -hmm. Tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, stay a while, introduce yourself, drop me some comments, let's get to know each other. And again, if you wanna see more bobs, check out my playlist right over here, as well as my recent video over here. Hair Vivi, thank you so much for sending me this this unit. Thank you all so, so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.